morning, it's Pamela from Yorkshire in the north of England. I'm here to talk about K and K crochets at Christmas Extravaganza 2024. Um, I was happy to join in. Unfortunately, I'm I'm really behind now. I I the holiday I had last week seems to have totally knocked me out. I had this idea, and as soon as they asked me if I'd join in, I'll do a mascot. To go along with the like series of what I'm doing, so I may I've made an elf, and it's a K and K elf because obviously I'm one of their elves, um, you know, just as like a, this little mascot to go along with what we're doing. But I've only just finished that, and I was supposed to get this done before the challenge be began on the first of July. Um, the idea is to give people content creators can give people some ideas of you know, probably easy-ish, uh, you know, quick makes, maybe, you know, to, to uh, uh, you know, for Christmas presents and giveaways and what have you. I think they said presents for teachers, things like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a fab idea. You know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm one of, like, I don't generally do things for summer at the middle of the year, but last year when I did November. I, I did struggle, you know, because I, I, I just felt like up against time all the time and uh, I ended up with more projects to do than I could ever do in one month. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely not one of those that wants to leave it to the last minute anymore, despite the fact I don't really want to think about Christmas in July. But anyway, I, I am doing, I am doing and I think it's a good idea. So I'm, I'm proud to be joining them in this uh, series of videos that they're putting out. Like I say, I don't think I'm going to be as prolific as I thought of be, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Anyway, so I've made this mascot. So mine's a summer elf in a way, uh, because we're obviously doing this in summer, but it will work for Christmas as well. I've, I've I, I got this pattern. I'm going to show you the pattern actually. I got this pattern off Hobby. It's a free pattern and it's a tumbler elf. I've done their elves before, the normal elves. And I thought, well, I'll try a tumble one. I can knock it about, you know, and, you know, it can sit there and bounce about as it make my little mascot. Anyway, I got doing it. And then I looked for buying a wobble ball that you have to put inside. And the cheapest one I could find was something like £7. I thought, well, that's daft. I don't want to spend that much for a wobble ball. So then I was looking at like little capsules that you can buy that you can fill with beads. Um, but I had to buy them in the hundred and I thought I don't want hundreds of them you know I'm not that big a fan of plastic anyway and you know why do I want to end up with that many so I've ended up um, I've ended up modifying it into a normal elf so it's got the tumbler elf body but then I've added some long legs onto it so I, I've done mine in these like you know sort of so many colours but will work for winter and it can sit on the edge of a, a shelf like that um, I had a bit of a disaster with the eyes. I put the size of eyes in it wanted, which was six millimetre. Oh, and they were disappearing into the fabric. You can see where I've like tried to get them to work, you know. So I wish I'd have done uh, uh, embroidered eyes now, but I ended up having to go up to eight mil no, nine millimetre eyes I had to go up to. Um, so they're not quite right of the eyes, but do you know, once the art was on, it looks a whole lot better. Uh, so yeah, I love this. Uh, like I say, I've had to modify it. So it's not really going to be a good suggestion for you. I mean, I would recommend the patterns at Plum Hobby and they do some fabulous Christmas patterns. I would always recommend you going on their site. You do have to give them your email address if you want to download one. But, you know, they've got loads of free patterns and they've got lots for Christmas. And like these elves they do are really, really nice. Um... And if, you, if you've got a way of getting a cheaper uh, wobble ball to go in the middle, uh, you could definitely do it as a tumbler, you know. Uh, so it's a shame that, but in a way, I've got one that'll sit on a shelf now. And it, it like I say, is my mascot for this entire um, project I'm doing. I'll just tell you what I use. So I use the 9mm eyes. I use the 2.75mm hook. Um, the... Uh, green part is in Serdar Stories, it's the cotton acrylic blend and that's in the colour Picnic. The top of the body I did in Serdar Stories, double knitting, 50 gram balls and that's in the colour Celebrate. 
Um, I did the the face is in the skin tone that I generally use these days, which is Sir Dar Star is in the colour Glamping. And I use some grey for the socks, the sock stripes and the um, scarf. And that's in Sirdar Snuggly Replay, double knitting, 50 gram balls. And it's in the colour Sil oh, Sir Suck Silver. So, yeah, so it's not really a project that you probably want to do for a quick make. Um, but like I say, it is a mascot. So I've got one that I've pulled off to do for like something that can be uh, made, you know, fairly quickly. Uh, and I'll hopefully be back with one of those later today. Um, if I can. Uh, otherwise, I'll try and put it on tomorrow because I do want to play catch up to some extent. But obviously, like I say, I'm not going to be, I, I've realised I'm not going to be as prolific as I want it to be. So I am sorry about that, K and K. I really did want to do to fully participate um the um make that i'm doing uh next is um it may be more of a uk thing um because i mean in the uk we all know terry's chocolate orange we've we've you know uh you know we've all been eating them since we were kids probably i used to always get one in my christmas chocolate bag um and it's always been, well, it's been popular for a long time to make covers for them. Generally, they were knitting, but now there's a lot more patterns out there for crochet. Well, I've got a free one off, so I'm going to do a couple of them. Um, I just need to go around to the supermarket and buy a Terry's chocolate orange. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I think that's a good idea because they do make excellent giveaway gifts and gifts for, you know, thank yous. So yeah, I'm, I'll get back on with that later on. Um, I think that's all I've got to say really I mean uh, I don't know fully everybody who's taking part in this but obviously if you if you follow K and K Crochet I'll obviously link her below or search for the hashtag crochet uh, sorry hashtag Christmas, Christmas extravaganza 2024 you should come up with any videos that have been put out um, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say. Sorry if I've missed anything out. Um, I will be back later. I keep promising this. Don't I'll come back later with my regular content and I will. I have got a birthday present to make this weekend but I do want to update you on other stuff I've been doing as well. So anyway, take care of yourselves. See you later. Maybe today. Who knows. Bye.